misconceptions of breast cancer, and here he is, the most famous doctor in Baltimore. You, you pay me to say that. Dr. Farr, who is the director of the breast cancer at MedStar Union Memorial Hospital. How long have you been there now? Over 25 years. Way to go, man. You are a survivor. <laughs> All right, let's talk about the myths. You know them more than any. All right, listen, I come to you. I have breast cancer. Do I lose my breast? Not necessarily. The vast majority of patients, Jamie, don't need a mastectomy. Uh, most patients can do well with a partial mastectomy or lumpectomy with radiation. Now, the nice thing is actually over the last few years we've had new options of radiation where we don't have to radiate the whole breast either. So we're doing less and less and I think getting better survival and better results for mm. patients. Everybody watching wants to know this myth here. If you don't have breast cancer in your family, you're not going to get it. Another big myth. You know, 70% uh, of patients who have breast cancer do not have a family history of Is breast cancer. Is that right? That's correct. So this should be completely eliminated from people's mind. This should not reassure people. If you have a problem, check it. Don't say, I don't have it in my family, because that's a, mis a big mistake. Okay, uh, a lot of women, you know, they feel a lump immediately, cancerous. <laughs> Another myth, uh, Jamie, because the largest majority of lumps, or mammographic findings for that matter, on screening mammography, are benign. But it's better to check. And the reason it's better to check because you want to pick on the small tumors. The stage 1 or stage 0 cancer, which has a 99, 95% cure rate, you don't want to wait to prove that this is a cancer that spreads all over the body and creates real problems for the patient. And before we hit air, we were talking about the stages. Stage 1 and stage 3. Describe both stages there. Stage 1 is when the tumor is less than 2 centimeters and the lymph nodes are negative. Cure rate over 95%. Most patients don't need a mastectomy. A large majority of patients don't need chemotherapy. Stage three is a different story altogether. It's a 50-50 proposal, and most patients do need chemotherapy. Uh, all patients need chemotherapy in addition to other treatments. Okay, exposing a tumor to air during surgery causes cancer to spread. That's nonsense because <laughs> uh, uh, there are some patients where their tumors are exposed extensive, it's too late, and you try to do something. And you try to do something to reverse a, a progressive deterioration course, and you do the surgery, you do the chemo, you do the radiation. These patients don't do well. It's not because of the surgery or the exposure to air. It's because their disease is too far gone by the time you get to them. You touched on it, and uh, I think we ought to underline it a little bit more. Um, when, you, when you have breast cancer, you immediately think we need chemo right away. Uh, again, uh, the large majority of patients do not need chemotherapy. Stage 1 patients, most of them don't need chemotherapy. There are varieties of breast cancer which are bad players, triple negative breast cancer. Even tumors that are one centimeter or more will need chemotherapy. Patients who have positive lymph nodes who are stage 2 or more will need chemotherapy. There's also a variety of tumors called HER2 positive tumors. These also are bad players and need chemotherapy in addition to what we call targeted therapies, trastuzumab and pertuzumab. The, the field is really expanding big time. This is a good moment in the treatment of this disease. It's a great moment to have you as always. You are a genius and thank God for <laughs> smart people like you to keep us alive. Thank you, doctor. You've been doing a great 25 years at Union. Unbelievable. All right. All right, ABC's Ashley James brought you a story about a local woman's breast cancer story. Kimberly right here had a double mastectomy, chemotherapy, radiation, and after learning that the cancer spread to her lymph nodes. So Kimberly is now part of a breast cancer vaccine clinical trial. You're going to read more about the breast cancer vaccine clinical trial at abc2news.com slash infocus.